You know me, you know I keep things factual. But sometimes I come across something utterly outside our normal realm of understanding that sends a shiver down my spine. From mind-boggling natural phenomena to terrifying unnatural encounters, you better dim the lights and grab something to hide behind as we take a look at some unexplained videos that will give you chills. Have you seen Celine? Was there a more innocent time than waking up on a Saturday morning as a kid and rushing downstairs to eat cereal in front of your favorite cartoons? Well, if you grew up in Mexico in the 1990s and early 2000s, you might say those times were anything but innocent. Does this face ring any bells? This is 18-year-old Celine Delgado Lopez, and she first came to public attention in a missing persons infomercial which at the time were regularly broadcast between morning cartoons. The ad said she'd disappeared on April 22, 2001 from Alvaro Obregón and urged anyone with relevant information to come forward. How effective these commercials actually were, I don't know. But Celine's face stuck in viewers' minds. Fast forward to 2020, and thousands of Facebook accounts reported they'd been messaged by an unexpected friend. No one claimed to know this woman, nor remember accepting her friend request. However, the name. The name took them back to those childhood Saturday mornings. Celine Delgado Lopez. Only the woman in the photo looked much older. After all these years, had Celine turned up? Could it be the same person? Sadly, no. After some investigating, it turns out the Facebook messages were a series of hoax accounts set up by somebody, or more likely, buddies, pretending to be Celine. By tweaking their privacy settings, the account holders could remove the friend request button and change it to the message button, making it appear as though Celine Delgado Lopez was already on your friends list. But that doesn't explain why this missing person from over 20 years ago had suddenly piqued a bunch of people's interest enough to pose as her en masse. Well, not long before the mysterious Facebook accounts appeared, Canal 5, the TV network who broadcast the infomercial back in the 90s, had been posting provocative and disturbing videos to their Twitter account, then deleting them shortly after. Munch, munch. Time for a munch. Crunch, crunch. Okay, one of those videos mentioned Celine, which launched her name back into the spotlight and likely inspired the Facebook hoax. But why on earth would Canal 5 use a missing person as part of a creepy marketing campaign, if that's even what those videos were? Isn't that incredibly insensitive? That's where Celine's story gets really weird. See, some people think that Celine from the ad never even existed. There's no missing persons reports, no last known whereabouts, no family coming forward. An 18-year-old girl goes missing without a trace and nobody ever comes forward saying they even knew her? Definitely sounds suspicious to me. So in that case, who's in the pick? Well, photographic evidence suggests that the picture of Celine could be an artificially created amalgamation of genuine photographs and police sketches, combined to create something new. The picture is awful quality, even for the 90s, so blurring distinctive and memorable features into a cohesive image wouldn't be hard, and it would make sense why people remembered her years later. She was literally made to be memorable. Is that why no one's seen her? There was never anyone to see? Maybe. But is it irrefutable? Probably not. For a start, who would do it? Canal 5 themselves? If so, why? Secondly, hundreds of thousands of people go missing every year, often without explanation at all. Many never make it in their local papers, let alone on national television. Has so many eyes trying to crack Celine's case overcomplicated the truth? I really don't know. The further you dig into this case, the more questions there are, and I just can't shake the feeling there's something we're not seeing here. Terror in Tokyo The road late at night is a dangerous place. It's dark, you're tired, if you're not careful, a sudden bend could sneak up on you unawares. 
But for this Japanese taxi driver, the real concern was less about what's outside the car and more about what could be inside. As he was driving around one evening, he pulls over as if to let a passenger in, but watch the door. Yeah, it opens and closes again, but no one enters. Hmm. A few minutes later, he appears to say to himself, it's crowded on the way home. Only, perhaps it wasn't to himself. As he enters a tunnel a split second afterwards, a shadowy figure appears in the back seat behind him. Uh, what is that? A trick of the light? Well, possibly. As soon as he exits the tunnel, the figure disappears again. However, the driver's respite only lasts a few seconds before the figure returns. And this time, we can clearly make out the features of a young woman. Oh, who is she? The ghost of someone who lost her life in the tunnel? Possibly. Despite looking plucked from a bone-chilling Japanese horror movie, she doesn't seem to wish any harm on the driver, at least. Maybe she's been spending years in an endless cycle trying to get home. What do you think? Is this a real ghost sighting or just a fakery? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying the video, show some love to those like and subscribe buttons. Otherwise, next time you're driving alone and you peer into the back mirror, you might see me there, eating your snacks, watching you, always. Hey, eye on the road, dingus. Now let's get back to the video. A Giant Mystery Have you ever seen something so strange that you considered it might be supernatural? Well, when TikTok user Andrew Dawson captured a video of something strange atop a mountain range in Canada, his life would never be the same, and not for the better. See, Andrew claimed to have seen an actual giant, and looking at the footage, I kind of see it. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? Now, that's creepy, but not as creepy as what followed. Andrew followed the video up with a series of others claiming the CIA was following him. Amongst other things, random cars were spotted stalling outside his house, and he kept seeing the same man in public. Was he being followed? I'm not sure, but suddenly Andrew went silent for about a month. People were seriously worried about him, until in June 2022, he made a shocking announcement. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. Oh, so case closed? I wish it were. People quickly noticed that in his confession video, Andrew keeps shooting these knowing looks off camera, almost like someone else is there telling him what to say. Could it be that CIA agent? Nobody knows. All we do know is that Andrew only posted twice more after his so-called confession. First of these was uploaded 10 days later. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. Um, what? With a caption as cryptic as the video itself, Andrew's followers quickly became more worried about him than ever before. Contrary to what he said though, Andrew would make one final post, back at the mountain where it all started. Only this time, there's no giant, just a mysterious building instead. And that was the last anyone heard of Andrew Dawson. Wait, what happened? Well, we don't really know. Lots of theories have floated about, most of them suggesting Andrew met an untimely end. Maybe the CIA stuff was true. Others have suggested Andrew himself was fake and playing a character invented by a content farm. I mean, come on, the CIA stuff is easy to fake. Stand in front of a camera and look awkwardly to the side, get your buddy to park outside and drive off when you run out. None of this is difficult to stage, and when you compare the first footage of the giant to where he later filmed the building, they don't even look like the same mountain. What's more, Nobody has been able to find any evidence of Andrew Dawson ever being a real person. You know, birth certificate, residential address, phone number, etc. Zilch. Hmm. I'm not saying one answer is more likely than another, but the whole affair is just… weird. 
Whether the videos were staged or not, I sure hope nothing bad befell Andrew. What really happened, though, we may never know. Red Sky at Night Have you ever heard that old saying, Red Sky at Night, Shepherd's Delight? Well, when the sky did turn red over Chen, China, I don't think delight is what people were feeling. In footage shared on the Chinese social media site Dao Yin late one May evening in 2022, citizens of this small city can be heard freaking out as everything above them becomes crimson. <laughs> What's going on here? Is it the Armageddon? The end of days? Thankfully not. According to the local weather bureau, the apocalyptic sky was actually caused by light refraction. When weather conditions are right, there's more water in the atmosphere. This forms aerosols, which are tiny liquid droplets suspended in air or gas, like mist. Because Shan is a port city, the red lights from passing fishing boats refracted off the aerosols and scattered throughout the sky. Woo! I bet you're relieved to hear the world isn't ending, but this isn't the only weird phenomenon spotted in China. In 2013, traffic in Nanjing ground to a halt when a strange foaming substance began oozing from beneath the street. At around 9 p.m., the pavement at the Wende Baiyun Lane cross intersection began to crack and split open. Then, like some B-movie horror, the cracks started spawning this foul-smelling blob. Within a short while, the spillage had spread to 165 feet wide and was over a foot high. Before it had a chance to become sentient, firefighters and police rushed to rope off the area, and the weird residue was hosed away without any real explanation. Hmm. China's propaganda ministry released a statement later claiming the material used to soften the soil for nearby subway construction had leaked. But, uh, are we really going to trust anything that comes out of the mouth of the propaganda ministry? I don't know about this one, team. If you've got any thoughts, leave them in the comments down below. Scottish Swirl Listen, just because the sky above isn't glowing crimson doesn't mean you're in the clear. In 2022, strange objects were spotted circling the otherwise ordinary sky above Motherwell, Scotland. My word, it looks like Bilbo Baggins' birthday party. Hmm, I don't think this was the work of Gandalf, though. Or, as many people were quick to suggest, aliens. If you look closely, you can see a faint smoke trail behind the weird light. Now, that wouldn't happen unless there was a combustible substance on whatever's flying around. I'd say somebody strapped a week's wages of fireworks onto their drone and decided to give the neighbors a spectacle. Okay, but what about this? Hmm, what the heck is that? This bright green darting light was captured later that night in the same area, and I've never seen a firework that looks anything like it. Now, there's no military bases nearby, and no planes flew overhead either. So what exactly caused this mysterious sky show? Well, there's one possible explanation. Just outside our Earth's atmosphere, there are thousands of pieces of space junk flying around, like satellite parts that were disposed after orbit. If any of this trash re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, it can burn up like a meteor. When it burns, the resulting fire provides energy to electrons in its atoms, but those electrons can't hold that energy for very long. When they release it again, they do so in the form of particular wavelengths of light, and copper just so happens to be green. So the green color of that strange meteor thing might have been caused by space junk made from copper. Neato. Sure, that makes sense, but it's impossible to say if it's 100% the case or not. And the fact two weird sky phenomena happened in the same place on the same night? Yeah, I'd be moving house, whatever the truth is. Bridezilla. Your wedding day is often said to be the most important day of your life. After all, till death do us part isn't a commitment to be taken lightly. 
However, a couple taking their vows in Indonesia went viral after the bride seemed to take a paranormal turn for the worse. Check it out. What happened there? Well, if you listen closely, there's a horrible screeching noise just before the bride starts freaking out. What could have happened? Was it a dangerous snake hissing that sent her into a panic? Did she have some kind of medical problem like a seizure? Or was it something decidedly more sinister, like demonic possession? As outlandish as that last suggestion sounds, many of the comments seem to think witchcraft has something to do with it. Whether a relative from beyond the grave or an ex-partner disagreeing with the couple's union, I'm not really sure. What I can say is that the original uploader of the video hurriedly took it down after it began gaining traction. Hmm, perhaps there's another twist to this tale that we don't know about yet. Worrying Web You know what gives me the willies? Spiders. I just don't like them. Never have, never will. Luckily for me, I don't live in Shrewsbury, England. Locals awoke one morning in May 2023 to discover a large bush in a parking lot had been completely overtaken by a humongous cobweb. Gross. No, thank you. Can you imagine how big the spider would have to be to spin that? Well, luckily, you don't have to. Believe it or not, it wasn't the work of a spider, and no, it's not a Halloween decoration either. It's actually the work of ermine moth caterpillars. Every year when the larvae hatch, they spin a giant web made of hundreds of thousands of silk sheets to protect them whilst they eat away and fatten up. After they've completed their metamorphosis and the moths fly off, the web disintegrates. Darn. I gotta say, that's an effective defense tactic. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies just looking at it. At least there's nothing to worry about, though. Unless you're a tasty-looking shrub, in which case, be afraid. Be very, very afraid. Bewitching Backrooms Recently, I've been super interested in the backrooms. In case you don't know, it's an urban legend that sprung into popularity in 2019. According to the legend, it's possible to glitch out of your reality and end up in an eerie, limbo-like plane of existence called the backrooms, usually depicted as should-be busy locations that are totally abandoned. There's something incredibly uncanny about the backrooms that I just find myself oddly compelled to. And one video posted to TikTok in April 2022 caught my attention more than any other. The poster spotted a strange hole in their wall with some unidentified substance pouring from it. Supposedly, the substance resulted from an excess of energy caused by a rift forming to the backrooms. And as the camera creeps closer to the hole, what's behind it becomes clearer. Huh? What was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure I want to go to the back rooms anymore. Okay, I know this video is probably a hoax and the back rooms are more legend than fact, but what if? If I ever see a hole in my wall that looks anything like that one, I'm not taking any chances. There's no way my tiny hiney is getting captured by some demonkin from a parallel reality. Chilling Circle Boo, I'm telling you, I'm not made for the cold. Nope, despite my pallid complexion, this body's built for the sunshine. And it's not just the weather that gives me the shivers. Weird, unexplainable things happen in the cold. In Gladwin, Michigan, temperatures in January 2019 plummeted to a measly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the Cedar River, this happened. What the? It's like some huge UFO landing pad for space aliens. It wasn't a one-off event, either. Merely a week before, a section of the Presumpscot River near Westbrook, Maine, captured dog walkers' attention when a colossal 100-yard spinning ice disc formed in the water. 
Right, so does anybody care to explain how these two giant moon shapes glitched their way into the rivers? Well, truth be told, we don't exactly know what's causing it. At best, scientists have speculated that it has something to do with the temperature changes in the water below. Think about it. Hot air rises while cool air falls, and when the two collide, it creates a tornado. Uh, this might be kind of the same, just much slower and wetter. And considering I've not heard anything from the scientific community yet regarding my cryo-alien theory, well, I gotta say the whole hot, cold, spinny angle might hold some weight. Do you have any possible theories as to how these giant ice disks form? Let me know down in the comments. Bubbling Burner I never used to believe in hell. Fire, pain, suffering. Sounds like another day at the office to me. But hear me out. Mud can't set on fire, right? So if this isn't a portal to hell, how the heck do you explain it? The wild footage was captured in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, and despite my first thoughts, it's actually not a hell portal. It's an active mud volcano at Yangpu Pond. There are several of these small volcanoes across southern Taiwan. They're formed when immense pressure from tectonic plates beneath the earth is combined with heavy rainfall, turning the earth all liquidy. The resulting sludge is largely made up of organic material and water, which is a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. And you know what bacteria produces? Methane, a highly flammable gas. Aha! So this thing can just combust out of nowhere? Mm, not quite. This was actually set alight by a local man as a little demonstration. According to eyewitnesses, the mud burned for about five minutes until the methane ran out. That's pretty cool. But methane is also the gas that makes our farts smell. Seeing this up front and personal might have been cool, but it also would have stank like someone was torching their air biscuits. Yuck. Another reason to stay indoors and watch YouTube, hey? Creepy Company Sometimes when I'm lying in bed at night, there's a strange thud outside my window. I'm sure it's nothing, probably just a hungry raccoon rummaging for food. But uh, what if it's not? When TikTok user Little and Large 13 heard strange noises outside her house at night, she decided to look at her security footage and felt a cold shiver run down her spine. Pay attention to that gap in the fence. What is that? Little and Large managed to capture a much clearer shot around the front of her house, but it only made things worse. No, no, no. That's the least cute panda I've ever seen. What were they doing hanging around the TikTok user's house late at night as anyone's guess? Scouting for a potential burglary? Just looking to freak them out? If it's the latter, they succeeded. Of course, the video could have been set up for views, but we have no way of knowing. The creepy figure could have been armed and dangerous. Ooh, I dread to think. Luckily, they don't seem to have harmed Little and Large. However, in a more recent video, something decidedly inhuman can be seen creeping around her trash before hiding back in the shadows. Jeepers Creepers. If that was my house, I'd have burned it to the ground by now. Pale Prowler The worst job I ever had was a night shift security. Walking around an empty warehouse, poking my torch into dark corners, really gave me the spooks. It's lucky I never worked on this site then, near Moorhead, Kentucky, where CCTV captured a sinister-looking figure trespassing in the dead of night. A Twitter, <coughs> sorry, X account specializing in the paranormal posted the footage in 2022, describing it as simply the pale creature. But we know practically nothing else. Some people are convinced it shows a skinwalker, which are a kind of malicious witch capable of turning into animals. 
But that doesn't look like any animal I've ever seen. It reminds me more of the horror movie The Descent. Hmm. And for my own sanity, I'm gonna say it's probably just a guy playing around in some kind of suit, because the alternative would keep me awake all night. However, that's not the creepiest skinwalker-looking humanoid I've seen online lately. Not even close. Recently, I came across this unsettling photo. I don't know about you, but my first thought was, can Slender Man swim now? Look, I find swimming hard enough. I don't need something else to worry about. Well, luckily the chances of this thing brushing against my foot as I'm treading water are slim to none. And that's because the giant figure isn't Slender Man at all. It's actually former NBA star Manuta Bol. And the reason he looks so otherworldly is because at a colossal 7 foot 7 inches, he's incredibly tall. Woo! And there was me about to grab my towel and do a runner. Mountain Mystery Everyone's always telling me I should go outside more. Uh, have you seen outside lately? Everything's either poisonous or on fire. I'll get my fresh air how it was intended, through the internet. That way, I get to see the really incredible stuff like this. Whoa, that's beautiful, but I don't actually know what I'm looking at. It looks like some kind of gateway the aliens would use to come through and invade us. Don't panic, it's not. But the truth is just as wild. This natural anomaly is no lens flare, nor is it camera trickery. It's called a subsun, and it was spotted in the Patagonia region of Argentina. When the sun's rays shine down on suspended ice particles in the atmosphere, the ice works as a giant mirror, bouncing the light back upwards in a halo effect. You've probably never seen one before because, as well as conditions have to be just right, you have to be above the ice mirror looking down in order to see it. Damn, I really thought we'd unlocked a portal hopping to another world for a second there. Disturbing Doll One of the most iconic spooky tropes that always gives me the creeps are dolls. Whether they're tricycle riding psychopaths or cursed Victorian children's toys, they're freaking terrifying. But one particular type of doll gives me the chills for a reason you might be surprised by, because of how shockingly realistic it looks. These are reborn dolls, and yes, they're dolls, not actual babies. They look impossibly real, right? And is anyone else terrified by them? Since the 1990s, a growing collective of artists has been creating hyper-realistic silicone baby dolls for fellow collectors and enthusiasts. These crafters go to insane lengths to make their creations look as close to the real thing as possible. The silicone material is selected specially to simulate real skin. It's even painted with the same mottled hues. Hairs are individually inserted into the head, too. The whole process can take several days, and finished dolls can cost a whopping $20,000 or more. Sheesh. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I find these genuinely horrifying to look at. Ever heard of the Uncanny Valley? Basically, the closer something is to resembling a human without actually being a human, the creepier and more unsettling it seems. That's the vibe I'm getting. But I guess this isn't just the hobby for me. Look, if you have a doll and you love it, then I'm happy for you. However, this really unsettles me in ways I can't fully comprehend. What do you think? Would you ever consider one of these dolls, or do you feel the same way I do? Let me know down in the comments. Northern Frights Norway is no stranger to weird light shows in the sky. It's one of the most popular places to see the northern lights. But in 2009, an altogether different spectacle took over the skies. Only this one was much, much stranger. Around 8 a.m. on December 9th, a large, intensely bright spiral pattern suddenly started swirling round in the sky and growing bigger and bigger. The source of the light show appeared to be somewhere over the horizon, but nobody could quite tell. What could this be? A distress call for Norwegian Batman? Initial explanations thought it might be a space rocket, or satellite spinning out of control due to a faulty engine. However, 
no one came forward reporting damage to their satellites, so that theory kind of fizzled out. Currently, it's assumed the weird spiral was a fuel dump by a passing rocket or satellite to ditch surplus weight during a short flight. See, rockets typically spin to jettison their fuel off into space, which can create sights like this. And the little blue Batman beam you can see supposedly shows the trajectory of the vehicle moving away. Am I convinced though? Mm, not really. This seems way too uniform in pattern to be some leaky fuel tank. I mean, look at it. And nobody's confessed to any fuel dump either. Hmm. Could it be something extraterrestrial then? Put it this way. I'm not saying no. Kinesis Kulagana When it comes to the paranormal, your mind probably jumps straight to ghosts. But the term really applies to anything that's outside of normal scientific understanding, like 20th century Russian woman Nina Kulagana, who claimed to be able to move objects with her mind. According to Nina, she first uncovered her powers in the 1960s. Following this, the Soviet government became increasingly interested in her and called her in to provide demonstrations. Incredibly, some of these were filmed. Whoa. According to witnesses, it could take her two to four hours to muscle up enough psychic energy to move an object. But once she got going, the results speak for themselves. That's uh, absolutely bonkers. Sure, skeptics will say that she just used magnets, and maybe they're right. Many journalists at the time accused her of being a fraud, too. However, in 1987, she won a defamation lawsuit against a magazine who accused her of being a grifter. So there has to be some weight behind this. And that's before we even covered how the demonstrations physically affected her. Nina could lose up to three pounds each time, and her pulse shot up to around 250 beats per minute. For comparison, a normal adult heart rate sits between 60 and 100 BPM. What on earth? Now, don't get the wrong idea. Nina could have been cheating, but the strain her body was under suggests something truly extraordinary was going on. Telekinesis or not, I'm not sure. But there was definitely something amiss about Nina Kulagana. Dead Box The passage of time is scary. When I was a kid, Netflix didn't exist. I'd have to beg my mom for a dollar to hire a DVD from a special vending machine called a Red Box. But CCTV aimed at a Red Box in one Ralph's store captured something far scarier. What do you think might be going on here? Oh, this is really creepy. She looks like she's being possessed by some evil incarnate. Sure, it could just be an unfortunate still from the footage, but why in the heck would anybody want to tilt their head up at that angle? And when you look carefully at her eyes and the twist in her spine, it actually seems like her entire body is undergoing some kind of contortion. What could have made her throw her head back so viciously? Honestly, I have no idea. I just hope whatever branch this vending machine is in wiped it down with holy water before they let anyone else use it. Giant Walk for Mankind We truly are living in the great era of space exploration. It's crazy to think that many of us could feasibly take a trip into space, if we're lucky enough to get the moolah for it. Personally, though, I'd be too scared of floating off out into space like this. No, that image isn't photoshopped, it's 100% real. The astronaut's name was Bruce McCandless II, and in 1984, he was the first person to complete an untethered spacewalk. In other words, he ditched the safety cables attaching him to the spacecraft and went floating right out there. No, oh, I can't think of anything more terrifying. Hold up, how did he possibly make it back? Well, you see this giant device he's strapped into? It's called an MMU, or Manned Maneuvering Unit. Two aluminum tanks packed full of nitrogen maneuver the suit through a complex system of 24 thrusters. The astronaut used their fingertips to manipulate hand controllers at the end of the two arms. Once they achieved their desired orientation, they could engage an automatic altitude hold function that inertly held them in position of the unit in flight. 
Basically, it kept them still. That's amazing. Now, the suit did undergo a rigorous testing procedure before it was certified to fly, but this spine-tingling footage was captured on its very first use. The same year, McCandless ventured over a staggering 300 feet from the safety of his shuttle. Yikes. And just two days later, he went out again, this time to practice satellite retrievals and repairs. Both journeys took around six hours each. There's no shot you'd catch me ever climbing into an MMU. What if you went all the way out there? Something went wrong, and you ended up slowly floating away into the cold, dark abyss. Eh, no one would be able to save you. Or hear you scream. Zooks. The Woman at the Roadside Roads can be scary places. If you're lucky, the worst fright you'll ever get is seeing someone's Halloween decoration and getting a minor jump. If you're unlucky, it can be much, much worse. Back in 2018, a motorist was driving at night down a lonely road in Kedah, Malaysia, when he passed somebody on the side of the road. Okay, weird. What was that woman doing out there in the middle of the night, all alone? Shrugging it off, the driver carried on. Wait, what? Someone else also in red? What appears to be the same woman is seen again just a few seconds later. Then things go from strange to terrifying. Nope. Just nope. Did you notice how the radio degraded into static by the fourth encounter and that eerie hum? In Malaysian folklore, vengeful female spirits known as Pontianaks are said to wander the roadsides looking for victims. Could this dash cam footage be proof? I don't know. Nobody does. Since the video was uploaded, no more information or context has been brought to light. I know one thing, though. I'm never driving at night again. Woo! You might be glad to know that we've reached the end of the video. I don't know about you, but tonight I'm sleeping with the lights on. Which of these videos creeped you out the most? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, thanks for watching.